Welcome to Space Quest Chapter 1. The Game Holder Production presents Roger Wilco in The Sarian Encounter. Welcome, folks. It's the Game Holder here. I recorded this video several years ago, meaning two years ago, with no voice. I've decided to go back and re-render it with the voiceovers of yours truly, the Game Order, all in one episode, less than 50 minutes to complete the entire game. Let's fucking rock this shit. As we join our story, the crew of the Arcadia is returning home to Xenon after a successful mission developing the Star Generator. Exhilarated by their accomplishments, they are oblivious to the fact that a sinister craft approaches rapidly from behind. You like it from behind, don't you? Mm, I got you, little yellow ship. And now I'm fucking you, you little yellow anus. With my big green prey mantis cock. Now a lot of this text is going to fly by faster than I can read it, because again, this is me voicing over the original. So, you'll have to fuck yourself if that's too much. You're startled by the sound of the alarm. Breaking through it, the intercom crackles with frightened voice of the technician shouting that Arcada has been boarded. The track sequence is engaged. Let's go west. Alright, what we're trying to do is get the old man to come through the door. The door opens, the man you recognize as one of the head lab scientists stumbles into the room. He appears to be in serious need of some abdominal fill. <sighs> After only a few steps, he hits the floor with a disconcerting thud. Guy, guy, falling, I can't get up. Yeah. <laughs> Poopy shit. Computer sucks. I'm gonna enter some random fucking code here and hope it works. Looks like you could put in S H I T. Now, of course, you need the copy protection. Cartridge fountain now retrieving. 
13 minutes and 40 seconds until detonation. I just got done redoing or doing the uh, Space Quest 2 remake. After watching this, Sierra still has that piece of shit beat. This game was made years ago, and it's still way better than the re the remake that those fucks at Infamous Adventure remade. I mean, this is just quality versus almost dog shit. The remake was okay at best. I'm glad they did it, but, you know, suck my donkey balls also. Holy shit, alright! Now, again, this was remade back in the day, long before I ever did any voice acting. I just kind of played through the game to show you how to get through it as quick as possible. Uh, so... You'll have to excuse any shortage on the dialogue. I'll read as much as I can. But this whole game is going to fly by pretty, pretty quick. I'm going to be redoing a lot of the games and basically shortening up the amount of videos I have. It's not the quantity, it's the quality. So a lot of the games that I did earlier with no voices I'll be redoing with voices. Don't get too excited and spunk in your pants. Here you have to hide from the Red Guard. They didn't notice anyone or anything in the room. The Saurians walk the fuck back off to the left side of the screen, not giving a shit who is there. The screen shakes. These are locked down. They won't help you anyways. Let's try the elevator. It requires a key card. Maybe you'll find one in your bunghole. You slide the key card into the slut. I mean slut. I'm currently uploading the Space Quest 2 Remake. I'll be uploading this very shortly after. Which will complete the Space Quest 1 through 5 compilation. I believe there's a 6. Yes, there is. I'll have to do that someday. These are locked down. Let's keep clicking on them anyways and really piss the game order off. I'm also still working on a bit of the microphone on this computer. I'm re I re-render all the uh, videos on my, my nice computer, my brand new one I built. For some reason the microphone seems a bit muffled. Seven minutes and 15 seconds left till detonation. You better hurry up, Roger, before your cock and balls blows off. There we go. That's a good sign. When the, the red vagina looking walls open. You're good to go. You're good to exit. Oh, a space chute hangs in the closet. You don it like a knight donning shining armor, and you put a fishbowl on your fucking dome piece. The game farts and the screen shakes. There are no controls on this panel, only words that read, Fuck you, Roger. You notice something in the drawer and you take it. So quickly that the game quarter cannot even narrate what it is that you take go in the orange bubbly thing. Let us get the fuck out of here. Hey, fuck you green man on the screen. Ten minutes left. Can Roger make it? He fastens his seatbelt. He sniffs, licks, and looks at the galore populated dials. Ten minutes till detonation. Oh shit. Pressing the right green button. We hold the joystick. 
As you slide the throttle forward, you can feel the arcana shake. You escaped just in time. Congratulations, Roger. You fucking fiend, you. Uh. Corona. Thank you for flying Arcada Getaway Podlines. It's nearly been a pleasure serving you. Now, get the fuck out. You snag a small cluster of leaves from the gooey plant. The stuff sticks worse than Fortnite old undergarments. You put it in your pocket. And hope you don't glue your cock to your balls. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot an object hurtling towards you. It is a ball of shit. Metallic shit. Oh fuck, it's a spider droid. Rats! If the eyes don't deceive, that's a Saurian spider. After drawing impact, small panels open through which legs sprout. And you must get the fuck out! You shall climb this gigantic Brontosaurus spinal column. Or whatever kind of dinosaur it may be. I don't know. Do I look like a fucking anthropologist to you? Boom shakalaka! You crusty fucking spider droid! It's not known that you are a master of protrusion toss. Anyways, congratulations. Oh, 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 I'd say the widening of those cracks is an excellent indication that you only have a few more times to cross, Roger. So don't fuck it up. Hey, what's the deal here? This elevator doesn't lower, it sucks. You flex those incredible muscles you wish you had. And you rip that stalactite. Make that stalagmite from the rock. Whoa, testicle, I mean tentacles of doom. You put the plant on the rock, but it doesn't stick. Blah, 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 blah. 
Murloc! You get past the tentacles with the gooey, gooey gum shit. The eyeball thing looks around and it's pissed at you. It's, Fuck you, Roger. Lick my asshole. Hmm. We'll go ahead and stuff this in the steamer. Now, it's a good time to save. This is back before the game hoarder ruled. But it is time to die. Go, 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 go. Well, Scott, it looks like Roger has done it again. Just to show you a quick death there. You have quite cleverly turned the beam upon itself. Frying at the shit balls. Oh, you are unpleasantly surprised by a drop of serine acid, which pours its way to your cock and balls. As you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly you become aware of the fact that a massive holographic image is before you. It begins to speak. Oh, you have found your way to my haunted chamber. Fortunately, there's much more to you than meets the eye. I've been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you're up to the proverbial estuary without the means of locomotion. In other words, you're on the Leather Express slapping the dogs, pounding the sand, and you'll kill for a fine ride. You are obviously in need of transportation. Let us see if you are worthy. On the surface lives a beast called the Orat. He proved to be a bit of an annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him. Bring me the evidence of the beast or as demise, and we'll talk. With that, you find yourself transported back to the surface. Always in the mood for a snack, snatches the can out of the air with his space gogo. Ba 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 boom! See you later, Orat. You fucking turd burglar. You reach down to take the Orat part in your hand. Some of its oozes fill the gaps between your fingers and slips down into the gaps between your toes.
Oh, you have returned. Do you have the Orat pot? Give it to me! You drop the Orat pot to the ground. The vision is silent. You hear the voice different this time. Walk into the light, Roger Wilco. When you step through the door, slides close with a faint hissing sound. Me, 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 me. Ah, please don't be alarmed. We intend no harm. We are a peaceful race. You are standing in the power generation facility of our underground settlement. It is a skimmer. It hovers approximately half a meter above the traveling surface. Grell and his light dwell in the caves below. The skimmer is programmed to take you to the settlement on the other side. I am sorry. This is all we can offer. I hope your trip is safe, Roger Wilco. A truly stone crushing journey, you have miraculously arrived safely in the Ulan's flats. This place is fucked up! Fuck you, telephone! Who the fuck dare calls me in the middle of an LP? And who's this gangster pimp motherfucker? Hey, baby! I'm a buying motherfucker. What up? Hey, yo, dog! Say, pal, I couldn't help but notice your skimmer. It's a genuine 86. How about 25 buckazoids? No way. Fine, be that way, motherfucker. I'm, I'm purple ass nigga, what? I get white bitches with my big purple cock. Yo, blood, here I come again with my big purple ding -a dong Okay, buddy, you drive a hard balking. I'll make it 30 buckazoids and I'll throw in my cocking balls. Do we have a deal? Great. Here's my motherfucking Disno, nigga. Glad we could do business. In addition, I'd like you to have these coupons. Good for discounts and free merchandise. Pimp some bitches back where I'm from, motherfucker. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, guess a little Wayne up in the motherfucker, too. Shit, yeah. Oh, where's the fucking Blues Brothers up in this motherfucker? Whoa.
like to redeem this coupon. I'll get you in just a sec. It's a five focus always. It tastes better than it smells. Another one would be nice. This coupon gives you a 20% discount. What a refill! I'll get you in just a second, you little scrawny fuck! With your beef, Junior. Another drink? Here you go! I guess that is the spot. I'm on a refill. I'll get you in just a sec, you little scrawny fuck! If you're sipping out of the odd brews, you overhear someone at the bar speaking. I was cruising to the sector DD when I spot the blip on the scanner. DD. So I had toward it, you see? And right there in front of me sits the Delta. Just sitting there. I figured my milliseconds are numbers. All I can do is think of shit. I'm about to explode and I haven't had some pussy in seven months. Fuck my life. A couple of non-galactic looking humanoids cranking out some tunes. This character kind of reminds me of a cute fluffy little kitty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck you, Cookie Monster! Alright, time for us to jam on some poker. Wanna cheat? Use a magnet. Droids bus pickup. Who the fuck is this asshole? Move! You fucking dick licking robot! Droids be us. You can lick my cock and balls. Greetings, Dinner. Allow me to show you one of our fine mind robots, otherwise known as Droids. We 
only have a wide variety of word saving. Life enhancing. However, I can see that we would be more interesting in our line of economy. Please observe our robot preview. Very good, sir. This coupon entitles you to a reduction of 20% in the price of any of our fine droids. Blah 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 chick 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 but click 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 blah 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 doom boom ching chong boom ping pong ha I am a Chinese praying mantis and I will fuck you in your brain. The HE1D is a great fucking piece of shit. Hey yo! Max 42! Rock 2000! Now, 201, you may pick up your purchase at our convenient Droids BS pickup area. Located just out the door to your right. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hello, sir, your new robot will be here in a moment. Well, there he is, sir, programmed to follow you around like a whippering little puppy dog. How humiliating. Let's get in the ship and get the fuck out of here, please. Bucko, can I interest you in one of the finest little used spaceships in the galaxy? You look like a man of discerning space. This is quite a unique little unit, never been flown over Mach 3. Hey, fellow, wait up, so long as you're heading in that direction. Fucking asshole. I can sell you this piece of shit. Just take a gander at these beauties, sport! Well, there's a man with a good eye. This here's the keenest little scrambler. And she's got all you want for 214 Borkazoids. Now just take a gander at these. I tell you, I think you made a wide decision. She's a beauty. The keys are in her. If you got any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. Ribbit. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. It's a good thing you've already got a bullet droid, because you're going to need one to fly this hunk of shit. We have achieved escape from Lost City. course plotted. Sensors indicate a large ship in this sector. We'll continue to scan for ID. Whoa! 
Oh, that's a Syrian battle cruiser. We better stand off. Let's head on out of here. Fuck you, robot. Don't be a pussy. You're floating in space just outside the biggest darn spaceship you've ever seen. You see a door. It's too big to move by hand. So you press the button. And the door opens. Imagine that. It's like fucking magic. You're like goddamn fucking David Copperfield but in a space suit. You float like a soggy sperm inside of the spaceship. All is well. You toss the shitty jetpack to the floor. It's of no longer use to you, Roger. Fuck it. It's time to die. Start a cling. Hey, look at that. Searching through the pockets of your newly found disguise, you find a number of possessions. And you also look like a Syrian. Let's get the fuck out, out of Dodge. The track code one 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 eight.
You'll have to show me your ID card. But I show you my Syrian cock, asshole. Ten balls. Well, how clever you have an ID card. Let me walk off the screen so you can steal the shit from me while I'm gone in the back of the shop. Like every other fucking Sierra game ever. You removed the device for the guard's belt. Looks like you found the remote control that turns off the force field around the star generator. You press the stud on the remote and the force field around the star generator begins to deplete. Good job, Roger. You're not a complete fucking moron, as we once thought. You must find the fight to urge. You do this and that and enter the code. One, 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 eight. And enter. Self-destruct engaged. Your penis will explode in five minutes. Have a nice day. Boom shakalaka. Well, that about ends Space Quest 1 VGA, folks. I want to thank you for watching the remake. Roger Wilco, we the people of Xenon extend our limitless appreciation and internal gratitude for your acts of heroism. Now, if only you've been smart enough to bring along the data cartridge containing the construction specifications, we'd be able to build a new star generator, thereby saving Xenon. 
It is my honor to present you with the coveted golden muff, a symbol of your pride. Henceforth and for all time, you'll be known as Hero of Xena. And you can fuck this green bitch over here if you'd like. Well, Roger, you did it. You saved the galaxy, received your profession's most noble tribute, and got the girl. Wait a minute. That wasn't any girl. Sorry. Well, you got the mop anyways. But now all Xenon's your oyster. And now, as the sun sets on the peaceful blue planet Xeon and Roger Wickle's first adventure, we hope you will remain in your seat long enough to return to Space Quest 2. 201 out of 201 points. Motherfucker. This has been a Game Horror production. Thank you for watching. Now go get some goddamn sun.